Hello guys, welcome back to my another reaction video, but this time it's about the Mobile Legends Bang Bang. So today in video it will be about a new hero that name Zborg. Zborg is already in the game for few days or few weeks already and he is really insane. I actually I can say that. So yeah. I want to see more about this champion on the videos. I didn't check his, uh, check him still on the videos. I just saw him in the game and he really really insane. He's extremely strong, but also he can be uh, extremely weak depends on the player. And but uh, for now I saw him extremely strong. And so I'm just like in, fall in love with him and just continue playing only him like one trick him so yeah i want to see about his story behind who is this guy how he came to Le mobile legends and let's watch it explosion chaos burning that's what this place should be <laughs> he is insane the city of technology the meaning of change in life. It was all I cherished and fought for. However, when I realized that the world was a dark and horrible joke, I finally understood how cheap life was. I thought he is insane in game, but actually he is insane out gay on the videos as well. <laughs> Am I scary? I'm just a kid. They made him seriously. <laughs> wow, he's look like I want to play this game. It doesn't matter. I just want to play this game. So let's see his uh, verge armor. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Hero Spotlight. This week, a new hero, Exborg Faraga Armor, will join us in the Land of Dawn. Exborg is equipped with a homemade Faraga Armor that can keep him away from danger. His strong DPS from his flamethrower, combined with his HP recovery, give him outstanding sustainability. Passive, Faraga Armor. Exborg is equipped with a homemade Faraga armor that inherits a portion of his HP and takes all damage for Exborg while it's active. A short circuit will take place when the armor runs out of HP, and Exborg will do a roll to the direction of the left joystick to disengage from the armor. In this meantime, Exborg won't take any damage. He then continues to restore energy in armorless state. When energy is full, Exborg will re-equip the armor and restore the armor. Exborg's fire damage causes enemies to warm up, and enemies with ultra temperature will drop armor parts when they take flame damage, pick up parts and restore armor, or restore energy while in armorless state. With the protection of Faraga armor, Exborg has an excellent viability. However, he will be very weak in armorless state. It is important to make good use extended first skill and second skill to pick up Faraga supplies. First skill, fire missiles. Exborg activates the flamethrower and fires in the designated direction, dealing physical damage over time. If enemies' temperature rises to the limit, they will take true damage and slow down. Armorless state. Exborg adjusts the flamethrower to a narrower angle and longer distance with reduced damage. This is Exborg's main DPS skill, which is good at dealing sustained damage and increasing the chance to trigger his passive. Second skill, fire stake. 
export shoots several fire stakes at the edge of the fan-shaped indicator. After a few seconds, the stakes are taken back into his body. Each stake deals physical damage to enemies in its path and pulling them back. If the fire stake touches the Faraga supplies in its path, it pulls them back as well. Armorless stake. Export adjusts the fire stake launcher to send the stakes a further distance and shortens the gap between the stakes. The fire stakes can effectively stop enemies from escaping and can be used to pick up the Faraga supplies generated from Export's passive. Ultimate. Last insanity. Export charges forward in a designated direction, shooting fire around to deal physical damage and slowing enemies down. If he hits an enemy hero during the charge, he will stop charging and slow the target. Then, it self explodes and deals true damage based on the target's max HP. The explosion destroys the current Viraga armor and puts himself under armorless state. After exploding, he returns to moving normally. This powerful skill is designed for team fights. The high damage can cause a devastating blow to enemies. However, before using this skill, you should pay attention to the long cast animation and the cost of losing all HP of the Faraga armor. When the team fight starts, Export approaches the battlefield from the rear, uses his ultimate, Last Insanity, to enter the center of his enemies' lineup, generate multiple Faraga supplies with multi-stage damage, and exploding his Faraga armor to finish off his wounded enemies and bring the rest to low HP. In the armorless state, picks up Faraga supplies and re-equips the Faraga armor immediately. Then, casts Flicker to approach enemies again, uses his first skill to deal damage over time, and at the end of the fight, all escaping enemies have been slain. And that's our new hero export. So this guy is already insane, what they saying here, in short. So, I mean, I saw him insane already in the game, and he is insane even in the, in, in those videos about this champion. I don't know if I like it or not. So let's see the the road to me to Mythic. Uh, his builds, his play, what uh, what you need to do to get to Mythic with this champion. Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of Road to Mythic. In this series, Mobile Legends team will introduce the gameplay and skills of the new heroes in detail. Today, we'll talk about Faraga Armor Export. Since Export is a great sustained damage dealer, we strongly recommend this set of equipment. Bloodlust Axe can enhance his sustainability greatly. Athena's shield and Queen's wings can provide exports under armorless state with the ability of escaping from the fight safely. Blade of Despair can bring a qualitative upgrade to export for his true damaging skill. Faraga supplies generated from passive can restore the HP of exports Faraga armor. What's more, during team battles, make sure there are enough Faraga supplies before casting ultimate skill so that export can re-equip the Faraga armor immediately in armorless state and deal more damage. Laning Phase Use Fire Stake to block enemies' retreat and at the same time, cast Fire Missiles to hit them. When they're low on HP, use the ultimate Last Insanity to kill them. Team Fight Start with Last Insanity to approach enemies, deal sustained damage, and heat enemies. Then, explode the Faraga Armor to deal great damage and kill enemies with extended first skill in the Armorless State. Recommend to use this combo when enemies are low in HP. Early to mid game. Since Export has good sustained damage and HP restorability, he can hardly be beaten by other melee heroes in the early stage. However, it is important to keep the distance when battling with ranged heroes. Export can try to kill enemies with low HP once his ultimate skill available. Late game. Because Export is a true damage dealer, he can deal great damage in the late game stage. His ultimate performs very well if enemies gather together during a team fight. Keep an eye on the drop point of Faraga supplies and pick them up in time so you can regenerate HP, which often makes the enemy underestimate the viability of export. And when they do find out this is a trap, they will have difficulty escaping from the sanction of export's ultimate last insanity. That's all for the new hero export. Stay tuned to Road to Mythic and rank up as you wish.
Let us know what you'd like to watch in the future by leaving a comment below. Until next time, we'll be seeing you in the land of dawn. Wow, this Zborg is really insane. In game and outside the game and the other type of game that Mobile Legends have, the adventures. And he is really look interesting. I saw him a lot in my games, in my team and in my enemy team. He is really extremely insane in those games. He is like um, the other champions that, uh, new champions that came out. Uh, not long ago like D Roth and there was another one. I don't remember his name Tell me what you think in the comments down below about this champion uh, If he's insane or not if he's easy or not that easy I mean to kill him not to play him Smash the like button if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you still not subscribe to it follow me on my twitch I am streaming every single day between five to six days uh, daily on my uh, Twitch, I'm mostly streaming League of Legends and sometimes I'm taking a break and streaming other games. You can always come over there and just interact with me, maybe play with me a game. And I will see you in my next videos in here and I will see, I might see you in my, also in my live streams. I thought to do a live streams on YouTube but I I kind of like to stream on Twitch for now and I stream already on here like twice or something like that but I still prefer to, to stream on Twitch because everything is already connected there so anyway I hope you enjoyed this subscribe and I will see you in my next videos